Happy Saturday morning. As always, I am sharing my grocery haul for my family of six for the upcoming week. Hey guys, I'm tired. I must admit this first week of school, I have bags under my eyes, dark circles. I'm so tired, but we'll get into a rhythm soon, hopefully. But today, like always, I share my grocery haul. If you guys have not seen my meal plan, this is the first week where I separated it. I kind of went through the process of how I create a meal plan every week. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, I will have it linked in the description and it will be at the end of this video on the end screen. So. I separated it this week. Meal plan first, and now I'm getting into my grocery haul. I used Walmart grocery pickup, plus I went in store because I really wanted to pick out my vegetables or my produce, and I had a few things that I got on Ibotta. So I'm gonna show you guys everything that I picked up, and I will tell you guys the totals as well. Okay, here is an overview. So I spent $52.97 on my grocery pickup, and then I spent $65.94 in store and I got $4 back on Ibotta. So let's get into my grocery haul. Now this grocery haul, I bought a few things that I do not need for this week. I have a couple videos coming up later on in the month and I want to prep some of those meals already and start filming that. So a few things that you guys are gonna see, it's not in the meal plan if you have watched that meal plan already. So let's start with the substitutions. I asked for a 32 ounce of extra virgin olive oil. I'm completely out, so they just had to substitute because they didn't have the 32 ounce bottle. They gave me two 16 ounces, and I guess they didn't have two original, which is fine with me, so I got one organic and one original, but that's totally fine. This one, I didn't, I wasn't originally going to accept, but I didn't want to have to go to another store. So my daughter Rose absolutely loves this Yo Crunch M&M with yogurt. I have no problem buying it for her. She really just likes it quick in the morning for breakfast, but she never eats this whole size. This is a six ounce. She likes the four ounces. Those are like the perfect size for her. They did not have the pack of four and the four ounce, so they gave me four six ounces, which ended up being cheaper, but she's not gonna eat all of this. So it's kind of, you know, we do throw it away, it's wasteful, you know, you just can't save yogurt that's already mixed together. So um, I might, if it happens again next week, I'll definitely be going into HEB because this just doesn't get eaten. But on to the rest of my haul. Those are the two substitutions. Everything else was just fine. This is something new. I need a couple different um, chicken breasts for different things and I didn't want to buy a pouch and have to refreeze it or anything like that or separate it ahead of time. These ones are already separated. This was kind of pricey. It was close to $7, but there's five chicken breasts in there. It says five individually wrapped pouch pouches, perfect portions. So I'm excited about this. It's um, no antibiotics, all vegetarian diet, no animal byproducts, all that good stuff. So got some chicken, got a small thing of sour cream, got the Walmart brand, great value. Our favorite butter, um, I'm doing a little bit of baking. I haven't been baking in forever, I feel like, so I needed some extra stick, I call this stick butter, on hand, so I picked up two of these. These are pricey, but I, let me tell you, they're worth it, they taste so good. It's the Kerrygold Pure Irish Butter, you guys. I haven't even finished my cup of coffee, so if you can tell that I'm stumbling over my words, that's why. All right, I'm gonna be having some yogurt and granola this week for breakfast or a light snack late in the morning, so I picked up this kind, haven't tried it before. This is a four pack, it's got 12 grams of protein, 80 calories per pack, and it is the Dannon Light and Fit Original Greek Vanilla Yogurt. Got some dinner rolls for some of our meals this week. One gallon of milk, just half a thing of orange juice. Um, my kiddos have not been drinking as much orange juice here lately, so I just got half. This is for a recipe. I don't need all of this for recipe. I've never ever tried this, so I'm excited. It's the Angry Orchard Hard Cider Easy Apple Less Sweet. Um, naturally gluten-free, and it's you know alcoholic apple cider is what it is. But I got this on grocery pickup. Like all I had to do was check a little box saying that I promise I'm over 21 years old and they, maybe they, you know, obviously I look over 21, at least I think so. So 
Maybe if I looked younger, they would have carded me before they put it in the trunk, but nope, they just put it right in the trunk and I came home with it. So I thought that was interesting. Got some cereal, we are almost completely out. So I went ahead and got a bigger box. At least this looks bigger to me. And it's just the Captain Crunch Berries. My kids absolutely love it. This is for a recipe, caramel sundae syrup. I got two cans of pumpkin. Okay, I want you guys to let me know if you know when pumpkins are available to sell because I need two pie pumpkins. You know what I mean? Like the little pumpkins that you can cook with. That's what I need. But I got these just in case I can't find those pumpkins before I have to start cooking. So I got two cans of pumpkin puree. I got a can of beef broth. I got some pumpkin pie spice. And I got this because my oldest daughter loves everything Japanese lately and I am cooking a new meal and with some chicken and I thought this would be a good seasoning packet to try out I'm gonna cook it for lunch for her and I and it is Japanese teriyaki chicken You just cook this with chicken and then have it with rice But I thought she might like that but that is everything from my Walmart grocery pickup And then I went into the store for all of this now again if you guys have watched my meal plan <sighs> Some of this stuff is extra and I'll let you guys know why in just a minute But here is everything that I got that I got a rebate back on from Ibotta. So I got $4 back for buying this stuff. Um, and these things were on my list anyway. These are the two extra things that I just saw that I wanted to get. So if you guys watch my vlog channel and I mentioned it on my meal plan, you know why I picked these up again. I didn't pay attention. These have to be refrigerated. Just, let, just letting you know, they have to be refrigerated. And I did not. So I picked two more up because I really want to try it. I got the sharp cheddar for myself and the cracked black pepper parmesan for my husband. And these are just Cracker Barrel cheese dip and pretzels. So there's a rebate back on those. My daughter, and when my husband saw this on the list, he didn't realize that this was the brand. He thought this was me saying that these are for Pearl, because our daughter's name is Pearl. But these are Pearl's Black Pitted Large California Ripe Olives, and they're in four little like to-go containers. So I got these because all of my kiddos, well not my son, all of my girls love black olives, so I thought this would be a fun thing to put in their lunch boxes for them. And then I always like to have protein bars on hand. This is our go-to after school snack. And I have three kiddos, so the size of these boxes, I needed three boxes to last us one week. But each of these boxes had a rebate on them. So I got these last time and my kids liked them, so I picked them up again. It's a six pack. Um, and there's two little mini bars in each pack and it is the blueberry by nature's bakery these have no high fructose corn syrup zero grams trans fat dairy free and they are non gmo verified so i got those and then these are just tried and true my kids have always they've been eating these for years the cliff kid organic z bars i got the chocolate chip again six bars organic 11 grams of whole grains good source of fiber and non gmo now these are new i have eaten some of these before i've gotten them in various like boxes from influencer and stuff like that in the mail i don't think my kids have ever tried them so i wanted to go ahead and pick this up now there's only five in here so i think We'll see if they like them, but between the three kids, they'll get at least one snack out of this. It's got seven grams of protein, and again, there's five bars in here, and this is all that's in it. It tells you the ingredients right here. So it's two egg whites, four almonds, five cashews, one date, and no bad stuff. And this is the apple cinnamon raisin. Um, I think that's everything in it. Yeah, dates, egg whites, cashews, almonds, apple, raisins, natural flavors, and cinnamon. Oh, okay, and that, apple, ra apple, cinnamon, raisin, and then that stuff. So I thought these would be cool. Hopefully the kids like them because, you know, they're just a little better of an option for the kids to eat. So those are my Ibotta rebates. Again, I got $4 back for getting those items. And then this stuff was on my list, so I needed some green onions. I've been trying to slowly get more organic items. Not everything I buy is organic yet, but we'll see slowly leading up to that. Obviously, this stuff is a little bit more pricey, but I got organic green onions, organic celery hearts, organic whole carrots. This is about two pounds of potatoes in here. I haven't taken anything out of the bag yet. I know I normally do, but again, it's early and I really wanna drink my coffee. Um, I have three Lunchables for the kiddos. Now, normally I make my own like homemade Lunchables, but this coming week at school, the kids get to eat with their grandparents, my parents. So I thought it would just be fun 
not only having their grandparents there, but to treat them to like a fun lunch. So I got my son this one. It's a turkey and cheddar sub sandwich. And then my twins, Rose and Pearl, love the nachos. So I got the nachos, cheese dip, and salsa. And then I'm going to add a fruit and possibly a vegetable, vegetable also with their lunch to go with this. Um, just ran out of this, so I had to add it last minute to my list. Some mild cheddar cheese, the shredded. So I got this little Walmart brand. Needed two different salad kits. These are just easy for me um, to get, you know, our veggies with dinner is just to buy a salad kit. It's no, not a whole lot of prep for me or anything like that. I'm in love with this one, the sweet kale vegetable salad kit. It has seven superfoods in it, super good. Um, tastes almost exactly like the one that you get at Costco. And then I got this one. I don't know if I've tried this one before. If I have, it's been a while, but this is the Italian chopped salad kit. So those are the two salad kits. I got some organic apples. Um, they have some apples on the Ibotta rebate, but I couldn't find them in the store. So these are the ones that I ended up picking up. And then this is all extra. Um, originally, I was not taking anything this weekend. We're hanging out with family for Labor Day and I wasn't, bringing anything but then a family member asked if I would make my salsa so I added this stuff to my list and I'm taking it since there's going to be about 21 people there I did go ahead and get two bags of the scoops party size scoops that way we all can have some and then in here I have six tomatoes I've got one bell pepper four jalapenos some cilantro and then I just ran out of oregano so I went ahead and got the big one and this was only 98 cents that's an awesome price Walmart brand, oregano leaves, 98 cents. So that is all of my groceries for this coming week and some meals that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys, some cooking videos coming up this month. All right, you guys, so first week of September and this is what I've got in store. I will have my budget down below. Now lately, the past couple months, I have been under budget, so I lowered it this month. Typically, we spend, well, in the past, we have spent easily $1,000 to $1,200 a month for our family of six, um, especially because we go to family gatherings and we have to make stuff. And I have, you know, this YouTube channel where I cook things extra and I do freezer meals and stuff like that. So it's not like that food just feeds us six, it feeds us for longer than a month because of my freezer meals and it feeds my other family members. I do come from a very large family. so. Just wanted to clarify that for any of you who are like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you spend that much. I only spend, you know, $400. Well, you know, it is what it is. Everybody's different. But lately, we haven't even been close to the $1,000 mark, even with extra holidays and stuff. So this month, I am lowering it to $800. And if I can get lower than that, then that's awesome. Last month, I have to pat myself on the back. I did amazing in my grocery budget. So we'll see how this month goes, but I just wanna let you guys know that our budget don't want to go over for food is $800. Um, so I will have all the numbers from today listed down below, let you guys know where we are so far, but this is the first week of September and fall is coming up. Pumpkin spice is already all over the place. I'm excited and I'm excited for the recipes that I have coming up to share with you guys. So give this video a big thumbs up if you like watching grocery hauls and they help you out in your you know, family meal plan and all of that stuff. Subscribe if you are new. I would love to have you here as a part of my YouTube family. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.